Washington knows there's an inflation problem. It's how to fix it that the parties are split on. President Biden wants to ramp up American production, while Republicans say there's been enough runaway spending and voters will choose them in November. Lauren Blanchard is in Washington with more. President Biden in New Hampshire Tuesday to again tout last year's bipartisan infrastructure bill. He's requiring any construction materials bought with money from the $1.2 trillion bill be American-made. We now rank number 13 in the quality of our infrastructure. China's ahead of us. So many other countries have moved. Folks, this matters. It's an effort to ramp up production in the U.S. and help ease supply chain pressure that has sent prices sky high and has economic experts concerned. Goldman Sachs now says there is a 35 percent chance of a recession in the next two years. What the Fed should do is stop printing so much money and uh, stabilize the dollar and let this thing work itself out. Inflation is now at a 40 year high and is straining Americans' wallets. There's no sign that inflation is slowing down. In fact, if anything, it's going stronger and stronger. Senator Elizabeth Warren pinned an op-ed in the New York Times, warning fellow Democrats they need to make good on campaign promises to make the economy work better, or else they can expect a red wave in November. Republicans say they can turn the economy around if they take back Congress. We wouldn't have dumped $2 trillion on the economy, and we wouldn't be suffering from record levels of inflation. The Made in America material requirement will have some waivers if there's not enough supply available or if the price is too high. In Washington, Lauren Blanchard, Fox News.